Okay, so in this lecture, we will uh, learn new type of quantifiers, which are called as existential quantifiers. So what is an existential quantifier? The existential quantifier or existential quantification of Px is given by there exists an element x in the domain such that px holds so this is the existential quantifier it is denoted by there exists px there exists x px you can put a comma also not necessary this is called existential quantifier so this is the definition of existential quantification of px is what there exists an element x in the domain where what is the domain the domain is domain of discourse as discussed in the previous lecture such that the statement px should hold and how am i going to read it i'm going to read it like this there exists x px we will be clear with this particular definition once we solve some problems so i'm going to the def i'm going to some problem now let px denote the statement x greater than 3 so px is the statement x greater than 3 what is the truth value of the quantification there exists x px where the domain consists of all real numbers so what is the domain of discourse here so domain is real numbers and what are we supposed to check we are supposed to check the truth value of for all sorry there exists x px means we want to check the truth value of there exists x belonging to r because the domain is r px what is px x greater than 3 what is the meaning of this there exists x there exists a real number which is greater than 3 is it true because we want to check the truth value is it true so is this statement true can i find now see this is different as compared to the universal quantification universal quantification was asking what for every real number x is greater than three now here i'm asking uh, in the different way does there exist can i find a x which is a real number which is greater than three can you find at least one we can say yes i know four is a real number which is greater than three okay could you find e at least one person yes if the answer is yes this particular quantification becomes true okay for existential quantifier you will need at least one person which satisfies that property but for universal quantification every person should satisfy that that quality okay so here i can say the answer is yes what is the reason so i will say true instead of saying yes this is a true statement what is the reason because i know that x equal to 4 is certainly greater than 3 so at least one element satisfies that property satisfies the 
property if at least one element satisfies this property then that existential quantification statement becomes a true statement okay let's take one more example qx is the statement x equal to x plus 1 where what is the domain in this problem the domain in this problem is again real numbers and what what are we supposed to check here what is the thing that we want to check there exist x qx there exist we want to check the truth value of okay we want to check the truth value of there exist x qx that is we want to check the truth value of there exists x which is a real number such that x is equal to x plus 1 is this true for at least one x if you can find more than one very nice this statement is asking us for at least one for at least one x so can we find a real number x such that the real number is equal to the real number plus 1 and we know that this is not possible because if you find then what will happen if x becomes x x x plus 1 what will happen then that i will cancel the x on both the sides and i will get what i will get 0 is equal to 1 but that is not possible so can we find such a x which satisfies this property x x becomes equal to x plus 1 the answer is no such x exists right no such x can be found that is no such x exists and therefore this statement there exists x such that x equal to x plus where is this x this x is in the real number there exists an x in real number such that x plus x is equal to x plus 1 this statement is what this statement is clearly a false statement okay let's take one more exercise determine the truth value of the statements if the domain consists of all integers so what is the domain here in this problem the domain is integers we know what are integers 0 plus minus 1 plus minus 2 and so on okay first is does there exist an n which is an integer such that two times that integer will give you the same as three times that integer can we find a number in this above list of integers for which two multiplied by that number will give you three multiplied by that number at least one number you must be able to find from the above domain okay now you see that if n is equal to 0 what will happen if n is equal to 0 the left hand side will also become 0 2n will also become 0 and 3n will also become 0 so at least one person you could find from the domain for which 2n is equal to what 2n is equal to 3n therefore this particular statement is true because n equal to 0 satisfies the property 2x is e 2n is equal to 3n. So yes, so the statement will be if you can find at least one. Okay, second one. Does there exist a number n which is integer such that n is equal to what? N is equal to minus n. Can you find at least one integer for which the number and its opposite which is minus 1 are equal again this statement will become true because the same property is true for n equal to 0 satisfies this property n equal to minus n so both the statements are true in this particular example 